we trust in you, Jesus. You're all, you're all, you're all that we need. Your power will pull us through. We're trusting in you. We're trusting in you. You give us hope and life that's forever. You make us bold and we stand together. this journey there's no looking back with Jesus to lead us we're on the right track oh, 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 oh. wide open spaces for wide open eyes we're looking ahead for the next big surprise oh, 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 oh. we trust we trust we trust in you Jesus you're all Ephesians 4.32 Be kind to one another, tenderhearted, forgiving one another, as God in Christ forgave you. God of heaven and earth, you are amazing. You hold me up with your hand, you give me faith and I will put my in you alone, in you alone. God of heaven and earth, you are amazing. You hold me up with your hand, you give me faith and I will put my hope in you alone, in you alone. I will put my hope in 
4.15 For we do not have a high priest who is unable to empathize with our weaknesses, but we have one who has been tempted in every way, just as we are, yet he did not sin. Hey there, Tab Kids. Oh man, I've missed you guys so much. It's me, King Alejandro. Queen Shireen's on vacation, so she called me to come here and today to share with you guys what it means to be God's kingdom people. So far, six weeks we've learned about what our kingdom looks like, who our king is, how our king and his kingdom differ from all other kings. We also learned about us. Yup, that's right. You and I, God's royal children, we learn that we belong to God's royal family. That it is not about how special we are or how strong we are, but, but through our King Jesus, God has adopted us into his royal family, which means that you're royal, I'm royal, we're all royal. We also learned last week that we are sojourners and exiles. What does that mean exactly? Well, that means that we are a people who are on the move. Our home is to be with Jesus. It's not where we live or who we live with that makes our perfect home. Home is when we are with our King Jesus. That's right. So that means that our home is with Jesus and with Jesus alone. So today, boys and girls, we will learn about what it means to be saints and sinners. Now you're probably wondering, what is that? Who is a saint and who are the sinners? Hmm, hmm. Well, the Bible tells us that you and I, through the work of our Jesus, are called saints. That means that when Jesus walked among us into his kingdom, he clothed us with his righteousness. That means that we look like Jesus, right? The way that Jesus looked, that's how we look. So you look like Jesus, I look like Jesus. But the Bible also tells us that, that we still sin. Yikes, that's no fun, right? Well, 1 John 1, 8 says, if we say we have no sin, we deceived ourselves, and the truth is not in us. That means that we are still not perfect like Jesus. Even though we want to be like Jesus, there's still a part of us that is not like Jesus. It's like, you know, lying. It's bad, and most of the time, we don't want to lie. But sometimes, when we know that telling the truth will get us in trouble, what do we do? 
We lie. Let's say my mom asked me to read for 30 minutes. Wow, 30 minutes is a long time. But before I can play my, with my iPad, I have to read. Say my, mo my mom leaves her iPad in the room because she has to make lunch for everyone at home. So no one is watching me. I read for 15 minutes, not 30, and since my mom is not watching me, I start playing my iPad. When my mom returns to my room and asks me if I read for 30 minutes before I started playing on my iPad. I think to myself, hmm, if I say the truth, I'm probably gonna lose my iPad time for disobeying my mom. So no iPad for me, that's no fun. But should I say the truth? I mean, Jesus would want me to tell the truth this is so hard, but I don't want to lose iPad time. So I, I give in and I lie to my mom. And there you go. And just like that, although I knew what was the right thing to do, I gave in. Remember, that voice that reminded me of what Jesus would do, that's the Holy Spirit. The Bible reminds us that because we are saints, we have a friend inside of us reminding us to be like who? That's right, like Jesus. Remember that voice that tempted me to lie? That's the sin inside of us. That tempts us to disobey the voice of truth. The good news is that if you say sorry and turn to Jesus, he promises to forgive us. And the other good news is that the Holy Spirit who lives inside of us helps us to be more and more and more like Jesus. Say that, say that with me one more time. More and more and more and more and more and more like Jesus. There's never too much Jesus in our life. <laughs> All right, boys and girls, on that note, let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, that we keep learning from you, Lord, and about you, Father Lord. We pray, Lord, that you continue to just remind us to really live the way you did, Jesus, the way um, that you want us to live, Lord. We pray that as we are, you know, entering the first week of school, you know, that you may teach us how to be, you know, be honest and say the truth. And when we're tempted to lie, Lord, that we may look up unto you and say, that's not what Jesus would do and do the right thing, Lord. Lord, we love you, Lord. We thank you. Be with us, Lord. And in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, boys and girls, until next time, bye. Hey! Good morning, Tab Kids. So happy to be here with you guys today. Today we are going to be learning something new. So, I have my friend Jazz right here, Little Jazz. And I was told that Little Jazz, she really loves Rice Krispies. But we are gonna make her wait for it. You know, because sometimes waiting is a virtue. Patience is a virtue, right? And it's a good thing to wait. So, we are gonna, I'm gonna give Little Jazz her favorite treat. There you go, Rice Krispies but she won't be able to eat it for 12 minutes. I'm gonna step away, and, and we're just gonna see how she reacts. Okay, little Jazz, so this is your, you like that? Yes, yeah. but you can't eat it for 12 minutes, okay? I'm gonna be back, but make sure not to touch it. I'm gonna leave it here for you, little Jazz, okay? Okay, I'll be back. Wow, little Jazz, you didn't eat it. Guys, practicing patient is no joke, but if little Jazz did it, so can you. All right, little Jazz, it's all yours. Enjoy. Hey there, 
Tab Kids. It's me, Teacher Alex here. And today it's time for what? For another fun activity. I know you guys have been wondering, what are we gonna do this week? Oh man, but just a little reminder guys. It is super hot outside and I know you probably feel it too. So let's make sure to drink a lot of water and try to do some cool activities that helps us stay cool and refresh, you know, cause we don't want to get really, you know, like uh, sweaty and all of that. Why don't we get started, yeah? So last week, what did we do? We did that yummy, delicious avocado roll. I hope most of you guys did it. If you guys haven't done so yet, you know, try it at home. It's a perfect weather to eat avocado, chicken, all that. It's a great snack. And you can always make sure to just tag us on Instagram because we want to see. A special shout out to Derek. I saw him doing the lava lamp. It looked really great. And you know, as you guys keep mentioning us on Instagram, we're gonna just give a shout out to everyone that participates. So we want all of you guys to participate. So this week, guys, what are we gonna do? We are gonna do a parking lot feelings. What is that? Well, I'll explain. What are you gonna need for that? Well, you're gonna need a piece of paper. That's one. A pencil. A ruler, if you really are very like, you know, a perfectionist and you want to have those lines straight, then you're going to need a ruler. I didn't really use a ruler, but yet again, mine doesn't, might not look as great. And we're just going to need markers, any marker you want. And favorite, we're going to need some cards. Well, it's not to play yet, but you will need some cards. All right, so what are we going to do first? First, we're gonna grab our paper and then we're gonna start making lots, parking lots, right? So we can, you know, go ahead and just make a parking lot here. There goes from my first card, my first card, my second card, my second card. Whoa, whoa, there you go, there you go, there you go. All right, once you're done, you know, you're gonna start actually putting in the emotions that you feel on a weekly basis, the, mo the emotions that you experience frequently. So in my case, you know, I've already done it, but you can put anything, you know. I'm gonna show you what I put. So once you have it, you know, the parking lot, you're gonna start doing, I have enough for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, depending on how wide you want your parking lot, but I have for eight cars, right? And I put all the emotions that I feel I felt lately or that I feel frequently. I put mad, sad, happy, hurt, proud, sorry, confused, lonely, hmm. So I put it here, right? And on the other side, I put ways that help me relax when I feel those kind of ways. For example, when I feel lonely, I take a deep breath. Ah, that was really good. Although I'm not feeling, feeling very lonely right now because I have my friends here on the set with me. When I feel confused, I squeeze my hand so I'm not that confused. <laughs> right, and when I feel sorry, I think of a really nice place. Maybe like the one where Queen Shireen's at right now. She's by the beach, probably, you know, having a avocado snack. So once you're done with that, it should look like this, but yours is probably gonna look cooler. So make sure to please, please take a picture and tag us on Instagram because I want to see what you guys are doing and how like, you know, little Picassos you guys are doing. So the way this works is you're gonna grab your cars and then you're gonna park it in the middle of the street. Don't park it yet, right? Park it in the middle of the streets. You can fill it out as many cars as you want, but I don't, I don't, I don't have a lot of cars, so. This was a little too big for my parking spot, so I might not use it, or maybe I might, but I'm gonna leave it here just for now. So, the way this works is, let's say today, it's super hot and I really wanted ice cream, but I couldn't get it because I didn't do my homework. By the way, I hope you guys had a great week, your first virtual, week back at school. I know that must have been really different for you guys, but I hope you guys had a great time. But let's say I did not get that lollipop or that popsicle. I'm gonna feel sad. 
And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna park my car in the sad space. Now that I know I'm sad, guess what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna come to the Lord. Because God, when I feel every, any emotions, when we feel any emotions, we have to give it to God. Because only He can help us feel better. Only He will help us be able to understand, maybe not understand those feelings, but help us know that you know things happen for a reason. So, I'm sad, so I pray. Dear Heavenly Father, I'm feeling really sad because I didn't get the popsicle, and it's really hot, Lord. I really wanted something cool, Lord. So please, please allow me to not be sad anymore, Lord. Allow me to just trust my mom when she tells me that I can't have it because it's too sweet or because I haven't done my homework, Lord. Please, Abba Father, take this emotion for me. Amen. All right, so now that you've prayed, guess what? You move it, right? But if you you know if you're still feeling a little sad, we'll park it on the stretch side. Why? Because this is gonna remind us to stretch. In this case, I'm gonna stretch. Uh, stretch here, stretch there. Ah, uh, oh, there you go. And remember, when you stretch, it's kind of like you're doing exercise. And I, I don't know if you guys remember, but Coach Jin once said that doing exercise help us produce endorphins, and endorphins make us happy. And we want to be happy, right? So boys and girls, this is the end of our activity. So what I want you guys to do is to do it at home. Make sure to, you know, tag us on Instagram on what kind of feelings you guys are feeling. Whether you're feeling sad, mad, proud, hurt, confused. I know it's a really, um, maybe a difficult week because of virtual um, school. So bring all those feelings to the Lord, because guess what? He wants to hear you guys out. All right, boys and girls, until next time, see you guys. Stay cool.